Breaking news right now. You're looking at a pursuit of, uh, I believe it's this vehicle, and uh, it is in Burbank. Let's get more from uh, Bill Thomas and Air 7 HD. Bill? Mark, in Burbank, indeed, right now we're on Glen Oaks, southbound on Glen Oaks. We just passed Burbank Boulevard. We believe uh, officers on the ground are telling us this may be a DUI suspect. That's not confirmed. That's the initial call. This was first reported right around 4.30 this afternoon up by the Whiteman Airport on San Fernando Road in Pacoima, north end of the San Fernando Valley. Took a number of twists and turns. We were following this guy on Hollywood Way near the Burbank Airport. At one point, he wound his way over to Hollywood Way. Now he continues southbound on Hollywood Way. We just came down from Burbank High School. We came down from the uh, Burbank Boulevard intersection where it comes together with Glen Oaks. Now he's going to continue southbound. Up ahead, I can see Western and Alameda, and it looks like uh, Glen Oaks on this King Holiday is relatively lightly traveled. And here comes that right turn. That's going to be right on either, uh, I believe it's Alameda. He'll be heading west now, working his way back toward Interstate 5. At one point, it looked like one of the front tires came off. Alameda westbound, I'm not sure if it was the left tire or the front tire. It appears to be just the tread, because I do see at least a rim on the right side. It is the right passenger tire. The tread came off. I'm not sure if that was a spike strip, but uh, you can't see the situation is compromised right now as he comes up on Alameda westbound right at Interstate 5 and uh, looks like traffic is yielding to all the police officers. We'll open up that shot for you just a bit. Here's Alameda right at the Golden State Freeway and you can see the number of police officers just behind him. We're not sure if those are LAPD officers, perhaps Foothill Division officers because this was first reported in their district. Back to that van. He's going to come under that bridge uh, under Interstate 5 and continue westbound on Alameda. I don't believe they're CHP officers, most likely LAPD officers and once again they're telling us this uh, they believe is a D UI suspect. Fortunately, a green light there. We've seen too many of these chases where these guys run red lights, run stop signs, drive on sidewalks, drive on the wrong side of the street. Uh, fortunately, this guy's driving relatively slow, and he might have to drive relatively slow, or he could lose control because his situation is compromised, missing that right front tire. Uh, we're not sure if this guy owns the van. Could be a contractor, but it looks like some kind of a solar energy company. We were able to double up a little while ago and see some writing on the back of that van, and as best as we can tell, uh, only one person only one person in the van, but there could be people in the back that we can't see running a red light there. Alameda westbound, he just crossed Victory Boulevard, coming out of Burbank, and he's going to wind his way uh, once again through the San Fernando Valley. This has been happening now for, as far as I can tell, about 15, maybe 18 minutes. That's when we first got the call, and he's uh, showing no signs of wanting to give up and just slow down, pull off to the right shoulder, and surrender. But in time, it appears as though the tread on that right front tire has come off. At one point, that concrete mixing with that uh, with that metal rim, that's going to generate a heck of a lot of heat. That heat can sometimes turn to sparks. Sparks can lead to flames, and then the fire starts. We've seen that a number of times. That's, uh, once again, Alameda westbound for folks who live in this part of the San Fernando Valley. Uh, we're not too far from the Burbank Equestrian Center on the north side of the Equestrian Center. Still working our way through Burbank, and the movie studios are coming up in just a couple of minutes. And once again, let's open up that shot for you just a bit. We're at about 35, maybe 40 miles per hour. That's a reasonable speed for this area. And you can see all the police officers just behind them, uh, four, maybe five cruisers and there are one, maybe even two, police helicopters on top of this guy as well. So there's really nowhere for this guy to go. Let's push back in and follow that van, that white van. Uh, the helicopters are on top, so even if police officers at one point decide to pull off, the helicopters, they'll track his every move. They'll watch everywhere he goes, and he can't go too fast right now. I'm sure the driver realizes he's riding on just that rim, the rim on the concrete. That's going to make him have to drive uh, much slower, and when he goes into a turn or a left or a right turn, he'll have to slow down even more, or he could slide out of control. That's what we have so far, Mark. We'll uh, keep you updated on this DUI suspect on Alameda westbound coming out of Burbank, and he's already crossed, uh, crossed Victory Boulevard. And in uh, just a couple of minutes, if he continues here, he'll be working his way out toward the uh, western end of the San Fernando Valley. Fortunately, only on surface streets. It hasn't been on the freeway yet as far as I've seen. Uh, Bill, is it as tight as you can get in? It looks like it says American Solar Direct. Is that what you're seeing on the side of the van? Okay. There Double we go. Up, please. Um, yeah, I believe that is American Solar Direct, some kind of a solar energy company, and he has made made that right turn onto uh, North Buena Vista, Buena Vista northbound from Alameda, and it looks like he might be making a bit of a loop here. This is a guy who perhaps works in the area, perhaps lives in the area. This is a place he's been just a few short minutes ago. He was on Hollywood Way at one point, on Buena Vista at another point. He's traveled a lot of major surface streets in the San Fernando Valley. Fortunately, when he came down Glen Oaks, right by the Burbank High School, it's a holiday, so a school is clearly out today. Traffic is lighter than it would be uh, this time of the day uh, during a normal work day, but with the holiday, there's much less traffic. A lot of places are closed. A lot of schools are closed. The universities, a lot of businesses, and uh, still northbound now on Buena Vista. I'm going to ballpark his speeds at about 40 miles per hour, which is reasonable.
available for this area. And I can see off the nose of the helicopter, Buena Vista northbound is very lightly traveled, and it was already here a short while ago, wound his way up toward Interstate 5, crossed under the freeway, picked up Glen Oaks southbound, so it looks like he's making a big, wide oh, loop. Oh, it looks like he just oh. crashed into somebody, pushed that guy off the street onto the front lawn of somebody's house. Somebody could have been hurt there. Somebody could have been killed. That's how dangerous this is, and hopefully this guy is realizing this is more dangerous than he can even imagine. A horrible crash right there. If someone had been well, on the sidewalk, this could have been too. disastrous. Well, he's slowing down now, too. It looks like he might have damaged his uh, vehicle there badly enough that he can't uh, continue to drive it. Uh, the Even hazard the lights came on, on and it looks like maybe the engine has stopped. Uh, he's, uh, he's slowing down and stopping right now. The pursuit may be over very shortly. Let's uh, keep an eye on this. Again, this is a, a work van being driven uh, that is uh, owned by um, apparently American Solar Direct. That's the writing on the side of it. Uh, they have corporate offices in, uh, on Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles and uh, a number of regional offices scattered throughout Southern California, including San Diego. Not sure where this person is working out of, but uh, somebody's, uh, for some reason, he's gone and gone off on this pursuit. Yeah. We are where right now? What is our location? Uh, Bill. We're in Burbank once again on Buena Vista northbound. This is northbound Buena Vista, not far from Burbank Boulevard. You saw this pursuit playing out the last several minutes. And just north of Verdugo on Buena Vista. That'll be in the San Fernando Valley. Those look like LAPD Foothill Division officers. This guy was showing no signs of slowing down. An accident just happened. He plowed into somebody. Whoever he hit pushed them onto the sidewalk, over the sidewalk, onto the front lawn in somebody's house. It's unclear if anyone was hurt there, but this guy either stopped on his own or the impact so severe that it actually caused that engine to fail. Now, police officers on the ground. Let's open up the shot for you. Just a bit. You'll see the driver in the car there on the top left, and then these police officers just behind him, they are giving him very loud and verbal commands, and if necessary, in more than one language. Try to get that guy to simply throw the keys out the window, give it up, call it a day, and wrap this thing up. But so far, he doesn't appear to be complying with commands of police officers. You can see them. They've got their guns drawn, handguns, shotguns, and a variety of other weapons, and they're ready for any possible contingency. But you can see this is a residential area, kind of a mixed-use area, Buena Vista near Verdugo. A number of residents here, some businesses up and down Buena Vista as well. The last thing you want to see, an exchange of gunfire. They want to end this peacefully. They want to end this calmly. No one wants to get hurt, but police officers have to be prepared for anything. He's not coming out of the van yet. We don't know if there's anybody else inside the van, but LAPD officers, they're going to wait this guy out. They'll be as patient as they can and try to wrap that up. And again, that's on Buena Vista northbound right by Verdugo, right in the middle of the San Fernando Valley, Mark. All right, as we uh, watch this, um, what we hope will be an arrest unfold, I'm wondering if we can take a look in the Perhaps we can do a split screen where we can see here we are uh, where this accident occurred just moments ago where he hit that car from behind. This was uh, just before he finally uh, stopped his vehicle. We're not sure if the van was disabled or if he finally decided to just stop, maybe being in shock from hitting a car or if the vehicle. OK, let's look to the disabled. left here and looks like he's coming out. So let's go full screen now on that and just watch this. It looks like he's giving up here. This is good to see. Uh, they're giving him orders to uh, step out. And as always, as we have seen, they try to have them face away from the officers. They're going to have him back up towards them. And uh, eventually they'll have him lay out on the ground, spread his arms and legs out so that they can then affect the arrest. And it looks like one single male who was inside the vehicle you do see the airbag deployed there. This thing oh, may have just, it, right. the, the, just the force of the impact may have disabled it enough mm -hmm. that he couldn't go any further. Uh, they're going to have him get out in the middle of the street, the very middle of the street, and then slowly back toward the officers, and they're going to tell him to stop and then get down on the ground and lay down and spread his arms and legs out as wide as possible, and then they will quietly come up and arrest him. And then they will um, they have to make sure that he's not armed, make sure that he doesn't mm -hmm. have any weapons on him. But this is certainly a good sign, although uh, this didn't end before a traffic accident. We don't know the fate of whoever it was yeah. that he hit back there about, about a quarter of a mile down the road, Michelle. Yeah, that car was hit pretty hard. Um, Bill, uh, what are you seeing from your perspective? Can you s Are you able to see the... Um, that didn't happen too far from where this stopped, the crash. Can you, can you see that car? Um, where you are in the helicopter, if that person was able uh, to get the, out okay? 
Yeah, the accident's actually behind us. Other LAPD officers most likely stopped. We can't see it because it's okay. behind the helicopter, but other officers most likely stopped. Paramedics were called in, and right now we're really going to watch as how officers approach that vehicle. They've got the suspect down on the ground, and they're going to open all the doors on that van to see if anybody else is inside. They'll check the rear of the van, the passenger side, and any possible compartments inside that large van to make sure no one else is in there. Once that's done, the van is cleared. They'll focus once again on the suspect who's down on the ground. In just a couple of seconds, they'll take that guy into custody. It's unclear as to whether or not he was hurt as a result of that crash. Once they have the cuffs on him, that's something he'll have to share with police officers with regard to whether or not he thinks he needs medical attention. Uh, but right now, of course, clearly they are very concerned about the guy who was hit uh, less than a quarter, at, at the most a half a mile away, northbound on Buena Vista, south of Verdugo. That's where the accident happened, and it was violent. That guy never saw that coming. Plowed into that guy. He went up over the sidewalk onto somebody's front lawn. Also, we're hearing something about a Nissan Murano that may have been involved somehow in this chase. Not sure exactly how, but it's still unfolding. A lot of information still mm -hmm. to come from LAPD officers. They've got their guns drawn. They're focused on this guy. He's spread eagle. We'll go as tight as we can now. Watch officers approaching him. They'll put their handguns away while other officers are going to cover him. Hands behind his back. They'll get the cuffs on. Unfortunately, this pursuit all wrapped up. Unfortunately, it's one of those pursuits, and this is why they're always so dangerous. An innocent person could have gotten seriously hurt today. We'll have to wait for paramedics and LAPD officers to find out how seriously uh, the other person was hurt in that car that this guy plowed into. But this guy is described as a possible DUI suspect. LAPD officers chasing this guy for just under a half an hour. Started up in the north end of the San Fernando Valley, uh, Pacoima area near the Whiteman Airport on San Fernando Road. Wound his way around the entire San Fernando Valley, mostly in the Burbank area, close to Glendale as well. And then that accident happened on Buena Vista northbound right by Verdugo. He's in cuffs. This one's all wrapped up. You've got that full closure here on Buena Vista in the San Fernando Valley and traffic until this is all wrapped up. We'll have to be rerouted around this, but only one person in that van, the driver, and clearly Mark and Michelle, he's in custody now. He is indeed. It was a work truck uh, owned by a company called American Solar Direct. Unclear if this is an employee of the company or someone who was just driving the van for some other reason, but uh, this has come to an end with an accident, at least one, and uh, unknown about uh, any sorts of injuries to the person that he hit just a few minutes ago. But there you see on the right, that's uh, that violent collision that sent that car up onto someone's lawn on uh, okay. Buena Vista, northbound Buena Vista, just north of Verdugo, which is where this uh, whole pursuit ended. But it has ended with no further injury, no exchange of gunfire, and peacefully, at least at this uh, Burbank point. Burbank is moving us, Jay. Okay, Bill Thomas, thank you very much uh, for your coverage of this police pursuit. We're going to move on to other news and some uh, health they news. They pushed us all to the south. Actually, we are not going to do that. We're going to be right back with more.